Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the new addition to the family. It's not a big deal, but I thought it was a, uh, it's a great purchase. I found this like a sick, sick deal um, on this uh, utility trailer. Um, so this is her. This is a 6x10 full steel, full metal framing. Um, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I got this for 350 bucks. Uh, I mean, the whole thing cost me after registration, titling, you know, I have to get a new VIN number for it and all that stuff, about 500 bucks for this trailer. And it's in pristine shape, you know. So then I, you know, I, I picked it up at nighttime. I didn't really see it, you know, I just had some pictures. Then I saw, you know, some of the stuff like this, you know, some rusty areas that was painted over this is not a big deal um but it has brand new wood has brand new tail lights it has brand new tires you know um it's in a great condition you know i couldn't ask for more so um the wood is in pretty good shape but what i wanted to do is take the flooring out and i'm staining the flooring so i went to home depot and I found some wood stain, waterproofing, semi-transparent, made by Bear. Uh, this is for deck. It's the deck plus tent base number, blah, 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 right? But guess what? You know how much I paid for that thing? Six bucks. That's a $40 stain. I got it for $6. Since this was for my trailer, I went to their, you know, they, they usually have a discount rack that they put, you know, their oops paint over there. So, um, let me get some of these one off right there. Um, so they have some, uh, some oops pile, which this is part of the, from that oops pile. So I'm staining the deck of this trailer. Um, I'm debating whether if I want to replace the lights, the lights are brand new. Um, <laughs> My first night, as I was pulling in, I broke the bracket for the license plate. Uh, don't worry, I 3D printed one already, so it's gonna replace that one. Um, but other than that, I think this was a great purchase. Uh, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. It does not need paint. Um, everything's painted. You know, I was gonna plan to paint, repaint these like a different color, but the red kind of matches, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, other than that, guys, I think uh, if you guys are, you know look for deals, you can find them. I mean, look, it has like steel hooks. You know, it has these, which I'm probably going to replace because this is only screwed to the wood. I might go all the way in into the steel right here. Um, so it'll be a stronger, you know, if I want to strap something down, you know, I need for my own, you know, crazy mind. But, uh, doesn't look too bad for a total of 500 bucks. It's not bad at all. Um, but uh, I want you guys to see this. And I'm going to come back when it's all finished. And we'll go over the details. Take care. Alright guys. So I removed the wood. And this is what I see. A bunch of rust. You know, it's uh, mostly surface rust. But looks like this thing has had some good, better days. So I'm going to use the grinder with the steel brush head I am going to clean this up I'm also going to remove these wood from here get this cleaned up and get ready for primer and then paint stay tuned all right guys so <clears throat> cleaned off the the sorry about the finger cleaned off the rust I just sprayed it with a layer of primer uh, I put a little heavy coat on there. I'm gonna let it dry out for like uh, half an hour or so. Then I'm gonna hit it with paint, and I'm gonna let that dry for about half an hour or so because I got one of those quick dries. Um, it's supposed to rain later on today, so I like to have the boards in before anything. Uh, if you want it quicker, then you could go over it with the with the heat gun. It'll dry out a lot quicker. I'm not gonna do that. Um, but again, it wasn't that bad. 
this trailer has probably like another 10 years left in it the way it is now um, uh, but pretty I mean it's not in a bad shape at all you know some some rust here and there seems to be an old trailer but for the price it will do it will definitely do so I'm gonna paint it then uh, be right back okay guys so she's all painted up all around as you can see uh, I am going to now put the wood that I took out back in here so that's gonna be the fun part um, I'm gonna let the paint sit for another probably like 20 minutes before I put the wood in um, then I'm gonna have to screw the wood in and that's it that's all she wrote so be right back oh and uh, I'm gonna stain these rails as well but they are a bit wet right now so I could once I finish that uh, once this thing dries off probably by tomorrow then I could stain these and that's it they should be good for the remaining of her life I believe so stay tuned Okay guys, she is finished. Uh, I stained the deck, uh, did the wiring, put this little thing here, 3D printed, where it holds the connector. That's gonna go there. Next upgrade is gonna be, I'll probably put some uh, uh, reverse lights on this thing. <coughs> so at dark, when I back up, I'll see where it's going. These are the ramps that I came with. These are heavy duty ramps, and uh, yeah, this this whole thing cost me 500 bucks after registration, you know, all that stuff. Uh, not a bad purchase, I say. So, if you search out there, you'll find it. Um, but uh, but yeah, this was a you know, it took me two days to you know, to fix this up, and this is a uh, put new bolts so you can see it's bolted down to the steel where you know you could strap things as tight as you want I don't really trust strapping things to the wood because you know it could get ripped off so and I that added three more here one two and three 
other than that it really didn't need much you know it is banged up but for 500 bucks can't go wrong with this guys so anyways if you like this please hit like share and subscribe and leave your down, uh, comments down below let me know what you think about this uh, simple project and the new addition to the family peace out